Hey, I'm Ava, and I've never gotten along with my mother-in-law. From the moment I met her, she's been rude and condescending. I could tell that she did not approve of me as her son's wife. Things started getting worse when my husband encouraged me to buy my first home. He is paid for one part of the house, and over time, my mother-in-law started to point out every little flaw with my home and criticize my choices. She even bought us ugly decorations that didn't match my style. She knew how badly I wanted a pretty home, and she ruined it. The worst incident was when my mother-in-law tried to turn my husband against me. She would call him and tell him lies about things I supposedly said or did, trying to make him doubt our relationship. I just trusted the process of the world and I left everything to the powers of the world until I had to step down and take a stand for myself and my dignity. I invited my mother-in-law for dinner. I wanted to patch things up between us, and I have been trying my hardest to be civil with her. I spent hours cooking and preparing the meal, but she barely touched her food. Mary, Ansel, and I are so glad to have you over for dinner. Ansel told me to make your favorite dish. Unfortunately, it looks like my most hated dish. This is not food, I would not feed this to an animal. Do you call this cooking? Do you even know how bread is made? What is this? I try here alone, looking to patch things up with you and bridge the gap, but you never seem to meet me in the middle. You'll just mean well, it's still pretty inedible. How does Ansel eat this? You should take some cooking classes or something. Mary, I put a lot of time and effort into making this meal. Please try to enjoy it. Fine, I'll try a little more. You need to step up your game to impress me. You don't impress me enough by being Ansel's wife. Why am I not trying to impress you, Mary? I just wanted to make a nice dinner for us to enjoy together. Who knew I'd be having dinner with Godzilla? I heard from Ansel that you burned the roast last week. I did burn the roast, but I learned from my mistake and I'm getting better. Can we please just focus on the present and enjoy this meal? Can you stop being grumpy for once? My mother-in-law would pick up food and make aggressive comments throughout the meal. I felt uncomfortable in my own home, and Ansel just said it was between the ladies to figure out and never stood up for me. Whenever Mary had something to say, Ansel would listen with utmost interest, but when I faced an issue, Ansel would brush it off and ask me to let it go and let his mom be. I remember going to my aunt's birthday party. She had turned the basement into a place to paint and drink wine with snacks. It was supposed to be fun, but things got uncomfortable when my personal Godzilla showed up. Hey auntie, happy birthday! This is such a cool setup. I love the idea of painting and sipping on wine. Oh, you're so kind to me. I'm glad you like it. It's a nice way to unwind and just have fun. Well, I do want to express my surprise. I did not expect to see my mother-in-law here. Oh Mary, she and I are great friends. I love her accessories. Yeah, sorry I forgot to tell you I invited her. I know you and her have some issues, but I wanted to try and smooth things over. Plus, she's family, you know? She makes me uncomfortable. She's always so rude to me and just very passive-aggressive. I know, and I'm sorry. Don't stay too close to me. Try to have a good time tonight and not let her get to you. My mother-in-law wore a super revealing shirt. She also got paint on her shirt and stomach while getting drunk, so my aunt and mom tried to help her clean it up in the bathroom. I went to help them out because I didn't want to leave my mom alone with my mother-in-law. You know, Jesse has been such a great boyfriend to me. He treats me like a queen, and there's always so much effort for Jesse. Your Jesse, Ava, told us that he was absolutely horrible in school to her and Ansel. 
Oh no, he's changed a lot since then. He's got a great job now and is always taking me out to nice restaurants and buying me gifts. What does Ansel think of all this? I thought he and Jesse had some kind of beef in the past. Oh, he doesn't know. He is just too stubborn to let the past go. I'm happy, and that is all that matters right now. I'll tell her when the time is right. My husband's old bully, Jesse, was dating my mother-in-law. My husband hated Jesse, and I knew he would feel bad about it if he found out. I talked to my mother-in-law about it, and she got furious. She always made sure that my husband and I didn't get along, and Ansel would never say a word to his mother, which made me angry. I needed somebody to stand up for me, and Ansel was far from that. So I decided to talk to her myself. You're always trying to create tension between Ansel and me. What are you talking about? I've never done anything like that. Really? Remember when you came over for dinner and barely touched your food while making passive-aggressive comments? Oh, that was just feeling a little under the weather. What about when you wore that revealing shirt at my aunt's party and got drunk? You got paint all over yourself, and my mom and aunt had to help you clean up. That was just a harmless mistake. I didn't mean anything by it. And then there's Jesse, Ansel's old bully, who's now dating you. I know Ansel hates him, and yet you're still with him. I'm giving you one day to tell Ansel this yourself, or I will do the honors. Jesse is a wonderful man, and Ansel needs to learn to forgive and forget. I don't think you understand how your actions affect us. It's about our marriage. I want to have a good relationship, but it's hard when you're always causing problems. Later that night, I received a phone call that changed everything. Living with Ansel was like living with a lazy, unproductive stranger. He often spent his entire day lounging on the couch, watching TV, and surfing the internet. Even when I asked him to help with household chores or errands, he would always come up with an excuse to simply ignore me. He is never emotionally present or supportive. He would dismiss my feelings and concerns or merely nod without listening. It felt like I was living with a stranger who had no interest in building a life together. Ansel, can you please help me with the dishes? They're piling up in the sink. I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. Can't you do them later? I have a deadline for work and I won't be able to get to them until late tonight. Can you just take a few minutes to help me out? I just don't see why I must do everything you ask. I have things to do too, you know. Like what, exactly? You've been sitting on the couch all day. I've been job hunting, okay? It's not easy finding something that fits my qualifications. I understand, but I need you to help around the house too. And speaking of which, why are you still taking rent from me for using the basement as my office? I paid for this entire house. Well, you know, I do need to contribute to the household expenses somehow, and the basement is technically mine since I paid for it. Are you kidding me? I own this entire house. I'm already contributing by paying for all the groceries and bills. You do nothing but just ignore me and let your nasty mother run her mouth all over the place. You are lazy, a snob, and I can't deal with you anymore. Ansel would always take advantage of my hard work. I work 12 hours daily to earn money and contribute to our household. I had the privilege of working from home as my firm allows senior associates to stay in the comfort of their homes. Although I had bought the entire house, I used the basement to work, and Ansel kept renting from me. I was fed up with it all. I hate the way things are going. You don't seem to be putting in any effort to help me around the house or with anything else. And on top of that, your mother keeps trying to control my life. 
I can't take it anymore. What do you want me to do, Ava? I can't just cut my mother out of my life, she raised me. I'm not asking you to cut her out, but you need to stand up for me and at least start contributing more around the house. If things don't change, I'm seriously considering divorce. Ansel stayed quiet during the argument, and I later found him complaining to his mother. Each time he complained to his mother, Mary would get back and say something rude to me, just to get at me. Seeing him that angered me, it has started to become extremely rude and difficult to deal with. I hated every bit of my day and just wanted an escape. To my surprise, my mother-in-law walked into my house that night and threw the divorce papers at my face. She flung them across the room, treating me like a subhuman creature. Look, I know you're not happy with me right now, but you need to understand, I can't let you continue to hurt my husband and our relationship. It's not fair to him or me. Oh, spare me the lecture. You think you're so perfect, but you have no idea what it takes to make a marriage work. You better keep these papers ready with your signature tomorrow. I don't want to hear a squeak from a good-for-nothing like you. You are never going to be good enough for my Ansel. I knew my baby was marrying a witch. Get out of our lives by tomorrow morning. I can't bear the sight of you. Take these papers and be out of his life. You are good for nothing. Oh, that reminds me, you are about to rent out your house and move in with us for the summer. Well, let's see how that goes. Oh, oh, maybe Paul. Mary doesn't know that there are consequences to your actions. Ansel has no money. Everything you have, the gifts, the trips, it's all because of my hard work and money, so don't act like you're some kind of queen who can do whatever she wants. Who do you think pays for that stupid diamond ring? Who do you think pays for your car? No. It can't be. You're just spouting lies. What do you mean Ansel has no money? I mean exactly what I said. He's been living off my income and the rent he gets from me for far too long, and it's not fair to me either. He's a lazy prick who does nothing but stinks up the room all day. Well, that's just ridiculous. Ansel is a man, he's my boy. He would never let you support him like that. Look, I have been kind enough for a long time, and you've taken advantage of that. Ansel takes advantage of my money, and so do you. You both are just leeches who suck the life out of somebody. Someday when you aren't all old and wrinkly, maybe never. I urge you to see things from my perspective. I looked through the divorce papers, and this was my key to freedom. I heard something I never thought I would hear in a million years. Ava, I'm so sorry. Please don't look through the papers. I did not know this. Please hear me out. I know I've been difficult to deal with, and I'm sorry if I how I've treated you. Sorry, huh? That's rich, coming from you. I know these put it down. I haven't been the best, but I'm willing to change. You never told me about the funds. You're just a bully. No wonder you and Jesse get along so well. Ansel is just as much at fault here. He's a lazy couch potato, and he takes advantage of me, and you enabled his behavior. Please don't sign those papers. I was the one who encouraged him to do all this. Please, I'm begging you, don't leave him. He's my son, and I love him. We can work things out, and the money, we can definitely look into that too. I can live with you, and you can continue paying us rent. Pay you rent in my house? I can't stay in this toxic environment anymore. You guys are terrible, and I can't even look at your nasty face right now. It was hard to say, but I knew it was the truth. Ansel emerged from the couch and begged me to stay, but I knew I couldn't continue living like this. 
I also knew that my mother-in-law would try to talk me out of it, but I wasn't going to back down. As I picked up the papers and walked away from my mother-in-law, my heart was heavy with the weight of my decision. I knew that what I was about to do would change my life forever. I needed so much from Ansel that he could never give me. I wanted to raise a family and be a closely knit family, but his mother has been a nasty old lady and I can't stand her. I called my mom and my aunt because they were the closest to me. I needed to get it off my chest. Who else would understand me better? I don't know what to do anymore. Ansel just sits around all day doing nothing. He doesn't help with the chores or contribute to the household in any way. I pay for rent in my own house so that he can have an allowance, and Mary is a nightmare. Have you talked to him about it? Yes, but he gets defensive and says he's trying his best, but I can see he's not putting in any effort. That's not fair to you, Ava. You work hard to earn your own money, and he should be contributing too. Exactly. It's frustrating to see him act this way, especially since his mother so easily manipulates him. I want to talk to him and see how it goes. I reached home and received several voicemails from Mary begging me to stay. Do you even know about this? Is it something you want to fight about again? God, you're annoying. Tell me. Wow, the whole family is crazy, huh? Anyway, your mother is dating Jesse. Plus, thanks for never telling me that. You have wanted to do voice for the longest time. She's dating Jesse? She knows how horrible he was to me. How can she do this to me? And Ava, with your nagging, I don't want to be with somebody like you. My mother was right, you are not good enough for me. I don't want to sign the papers, but you are unbearable. I don't know why I bothered even to beg you to stay. I can do just fine without you. I'm a man. I can support myself. I am not good enough for you. Have you taken a look at yourself? You haven't showered in five days because not a single job notification has come in. You've been on unemployment forever. It's pathetic to see you like this. Ansel finally looked at me. What? You think that about me? Are you leaving me? We just wanted to frighten you. If I told you how you made me feel, you would reconsider. The papers were a way to show you that you were being difficult and terrible to me, and we were trying to teach you a lesson. Wow, I can't even begin to stop with you guys. You guys are insane, and I can't believe this is happening. I have signed the papers and have also called my attorney. You will hear from him soon. I want you out of this house by 5 p.m. today, and here's the $20,000 you paid for that stupid basement. I threw the money in Ansel's face, and Mary was just at the door, staring at me in shock. I won't sign the papers. Okay, then you leave me with no choice but to report your mother for abuse and, in fact, to the authorities. You both have been stealing from me and asking me to pay rent in my own house. What about us? What about our life? Good luck with it. I hope you don't end up starving under the bridge. Do not ever contact me again. As I walked away, I heard Ansel saying that none of this was fair to him and I was just being mean. Mary kept begging me to stay and falling at my feet, but I knew leaving them behind was the most important thing I could do for myself. Ansel was a person I had put on a pedestal. I needed to realize that he was human and a terrible one at that. Leaving him and kicking them out of my house would be the most peaceful decision I had taken for myself. This was not an easy decision. I still ponder over and feel terrible for the same. I have spent far too long being taken advantage of and manipulated, and I was ready to move on. 
Starting a new chapter, after they left, I began to focus on myself and my happiness. I bought a new home in a different city and started to build a life that was entirely my own. I began to work on my firm with a few colleagues from my workplace, and the process of building a business from scratch was challenging but exciting. Everything was growing for me, and I wanted to expand further. Yeah, I mean, I'm impressed by what you've accomplished so far with the firm. You've been working tirelessly, and it's really paying off. Thank you so much, Ethan. It's been a lot of hard work, but it's all worth it. I'm so excited about what the future holds for us. Speaking of the future, have you thought about expanding the firm, maybe bringing on more employees, or opening up another location? Actually, I have. I've been doing some research, and it's a possibility. I'm still in the planning stages, but I'm considering it. I have also adopted a son who brings joy and light to my life every day. He's my bottle of sunshine, and I love him so much. He and I love spending time basking in the sun at the park. As for Ansel and Mary, I had completely cut them out of my life. Mary would occasionally call and ask for money. He took everything from us. We've been reduced to struggling to make ends meet. We're living in a motel and running out of money. Send this money, you always have enough to help us out. I owe you nothing, and I'm sorry to hear that. I will not be able to help you financially. You and Ansel need to take responsibility for your own lives. This lazy man has been sitting around and doing nothing. I have been working tirelessly to do odd jobs here and there. No one's hiring him. Don't rely on me to support you. I told you your son was, and you said that he was too good for me. You and Ansel need to work together to find a solution. I understand and appreciate your apologies, but I can't ever forget the way you treated me. You guys are horrible. You don't know how I'm doing. I have hit rock bottom. Jesse refuses to talk to me. I have nothing in my life. Let me tell you what happened. Please just listen to me. I did not want to listen to her talk about Jesse, but I didn't want my son to see me angry and swear at my mother-in-law. I let her speak, and she told me about a conversation she had with her boyfriend. I refused to let him manipulate me any longer. Jesse, what's going on? You've been acting distant lately. I can't be your bank. I thought you were mine. I can't keep pretending that everything is okay between us and keep giving you all the money. What are you talking about? I thought we were happy together. You're old, and I was with you for your money, and I can't do this anymore. I found out that marrying you would never get me the fortune Ava's father left her because you and the pig Ansel are so pathetic. What? How could you say that? I thought you loved me. I just needed money until I could score a hot chick who's as old as me. Your health keeps declining, and I can't keep up with the medical bills. You are old and expensive to handle. Well, Mary, that's tough, but we are not your enablers. Get a life, and do not ever contact me again. It sucks to know you guys are in the worst era of your life, and nobody is ready to help you. I hope Ansel gets that job as a janitor. I blocked her after this conversation and never spoke to her again. I recently found out that my ex-husband finally got a job as a janitor at a school and has been in the worst financial crunch ever, living paycheck to paycheck, which is something I can understand, but I have no sympathy. He would take advantage of me and my money, and I was so glad this phase was behind me. Mary and Ansel live in the shelter now and will slowly be kicked out onto the streets. Ansel has already lost the space in the shelter and lives under the bridge, close to it. Mary has been able to enable her benefits by being an elderly woman to be able to live in the shelter. 
As for me, I bought a new home and have a different address now. I did not want to live in that house. I have also signed on new clients, and my son and I love swimming, so I bought a home with a pool and a yard to play with my sunshine. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and if you're curious to see where this journey takes us next, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss a single update. Your support is what keeps this channel alive and kicking, and every like, comment, and share means the world to us. We've got plenty more stories, insights, and surprises coming your way, so stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.